Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Thanks for all your feedback on the last video. Uh, it's really good that people are uh, sending feedback on uh, things I can do to improve the videos, you know, music volume, things like that. So I really appreciate the feedback. Keep giving me feedback. The more feedback you give me, the better these videos get, I think. Anyway, you can be the judge of that. Today we're making some car parts. So we're going to be doing some um, 3D printing, some CAD stuff. Uh, and and showing you how you can make car parts at home and potentially how you can design the car parts to be to made be made elsewhere. Uh, if you follow me on Instagram, you know I've brought a uh, 3D printer in the last COVID lockdown, and I've been playing uh, with uh, some Fusion 360 software and making some wheel caps and bits and pieces like that. So I'm going to show you some of those techniques, and um, and I, I found it really handy because the 3D printer was like only 300 bucks, and you can make so many cool parts. So. Uh, so today we're going to do uh, two parts. We're going to make a uh, block off plate for um, the mechanical fuel pump, which is going to be gone on the 7K motor. Now, you know, you should just normally normally just get a bit of cardboard, cut it up, put on some metal, cut that up, whack it on. That's fine. Um, that's what I would normally do. But if I ever want to recreate that part again, uh, make it more accurate, you know, put etching on there, something like that, give it to a mate who wants to to cut out his own plate. Um, it, it's, if you've got that design, you can get that laser cut and replicate that again and again. So the benefit of, of putting it on a digital copy is that you can give it to someone else, they can make it again, or you can keep on making the same thing again and again. So something like this, um, there might be parts where you need multiple parts of something. So instead of cutting out, you know, get them exactly with a, a grinder or a, um, some other form of cutting, you would just um, put them on a the laser uh, cut and away you go. That's sort of one thing we're going to do. The second thing we're going to do is um, these are my Bridgestone meshes uh, that I purchased probably about uh, a couple of years ago, um, maybe even less. You know, there's a video of me just painting these up and getting them restored. They don't have a wheel cap, so I'm going to make a wheel cap, uh, maybe just 3D printed, and if it's strong enough and is good enough, we'll just use that. Uh, but maybe they might be. I don't know if we can get them made out of something else once we've got a CAD design. Uh, but yeah, that's the two things that we're going to do in this video. Hope you like it. Alright, we've got a template cut out. We'll go make something CAD. Okay, so what I did was just uh, scan my cutout that I made of the block off plate, um, put it into a program called Fusion 360. Uh, it's a pretty cool program to use. Uh, I'm not going to do any demos on how to use it. There's plenty of videos on the internet to show you how, but it is free for hobbyists. Now, I've been told that after a year you have to pay for it. As far as I can see, it still looks free. I've been using it for about six months. Um, I think there's only a certain amount of files you can save on the cloud, but you know, work it out, have a go. It's pretty good considering it's free. Uh, so I've done a design, I put that into a 3D printing software, popped it on this uh, little SD card. Now I'm gonna pop that into my 3D printer. I got this 3D printer, about 300 bucks, really good investment. I don't know why I didn't buy one earlier. You can make so much cool stuff on this. Um, so we'll pop that in, let it do its print, and, um, and you can see the finished product. All right, that's finished printed out. I think that took about just over half an hour. So this cost, you know, 3D printing filament, I don't know, maybe about 20 cents, 50 cents, something like that. So now I can go fit it up in the car, see if it fits. If I don't like it and I need to make the holes bigger, I need to adjust somewhere, I can adjust that. I can reprint it and get it exactly how I want it. I can test thickness and that sort of thing. Once I'm happy with it, I can get that design, send it off to uh, my metal guy and he can laser cut it and give you a nice, perfect laser cut piece. So you can do this with just about any car part where you can design. Um, 
And yeah, it's, I reckon it's really handy skill to know if you play with cars, um, and it's a lot of fun too. Problem. Just to make these holes big enough. Spot on. All right, this is the finished product. It's been water jet in 5mm still. I've painted it black. Turned out quite nice. It's perfect fit. Um, so if you like these um, and you want to purchase one, I've got them for sale on my website. I've got a merch store started. So first merch store, see how it turns out. Um, I'm selling block off plates, selling um, B-roller stickers. Really good quality. I've had one on the Corolla for about a few months, testing it in the rain and sun, and it doesn't fade it. They're quite awesome quality. So got them. And I've also got some tech logo key rings. So if you want to support the channel, link down below, head down to the website and buy some merch. All right, this is um, my wheel cap uh, that I've been working on. I'm up to like the seventh iteration of it. Um, it's got a few design changes over the past uh, few designs. So um, just slightly changing sizing of the actual uh, rim. Uh, and the thickness of the insert uh, it's got a tech logo on there as you know i've got a bit of a fetish for tech logo i like the old school toyota stuff um yeah so i'll flick to a clip of it printing up um and uh, you can see what it looks like when it's done <laughs> That's the finished product. It's got a lot of uh, built-in support when it prints so it doesn't um, flop. Uh, unfortunately, the downside of using a cheap uh, printer is that sometimes the bed heat doesn't regulate and you get a slight bit of warpage. It hasn't affected the product and I think that's gonna be fine. Um, but I'll pull it apart and show you what it looks like when it's pulled apart. There's support pieces, and that's the finished product. Uh, I had to mess around with the printing settings. I got it down pretty fine, so the print quality is really good. I don't know if the camera's actually picking it up. Um, might take some pictures of it and put them on the slide. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite sturdy. It's only um, PLA plastic, so there's different types of plastic you can use, ABS, and you can geek out and get all different types of stuff. Uh, but I'm gonna just give this a go. I printed four wheel caps. I'm gonna uh, paint them, pop them on the wheels, and that will be my wheel caps for the moment. Um, if I really, you know, want to make these better, maybe I can get them made out of billet or something like that. I don't know, uh, but I think they'll do the job for the moment. Uh, it will, it will block up those holes in the wheels at the moment. So, yeah, we'll see how they turn out. If you guys like this stuff and you want to know more about it, I'll leave some links down uh, below in the comments. Uh, I'll leave links for the print I use, the software I use. I even leave a link for the uh, fuel pump block off plate if you guys want to 3D print it yourself so you can download it. Uh, yeah, if you want any more information, hit me up um, through my blog and, um, and yeah, I'll see what I can do. All right. Printed um, four caps. Uh, now we'll just uh, get the fit in. And there you go, that's the uh, finished product. I've been doing a bit of research on the plastic and um, obviously PLA plastic is not going to last that long and it's not very heat resistant. So I've ordered some ABS and some other can't remember the acronym for it, but some other plastic. So I might reprint them um, in a different, more higher grade plastic. But for the moment, I'm going to spray these and they'll do fine uh, until I get the other ones done. All 
All right, that's the finished product. Better than having a hole there. Um, you could make this really nice if you could do some um, some high build primer, sand them down, finish them off. I did do one. I did uh, one of the samples that I made, um, and it came out with a with a high build, more of a looks like a bit of a, more of an OEM finish. So um, why not? I print the ABS ones up or the the better quality plastic. I might do that to finish them off. But that's pretty good for a quick part.